If you got a pack of chicken tenders and don't know what to do with it, watch this video. So first, I'm going to use the fork method to remove the bone, the tendon out of the chicken tender. And then I'm going to clean it with some cold water and vinegar. Y'all ate me up in the comments. It's cold water. I got y'all. Thank you. Then you're going to make your wet batter. You're going to go ahead with some eggs and some heavy whipping cream and season it with some Tony's. And you're going to do the same with your dry batter, which is just flour. And once your chicken tenders are all nice and clean, you're going to go ahead and season it with whatever you like to season your chicken tenders with. Boom. Give it a good mixy mix. You kind of want to do not over season it here, but a little bit because you're going to put it in the wet batter, then a dry batter as I, as you see here. And on the back end, you want to have some hot grease warming up on the stove. I use the cast iron because I like how crispy it gets the chicken tenders, period. So you're going to make the tenders for about, I want to say like 10 minutes and they should come out looking like this because you're going to put them in the oven. I use some sweet baby rays and some hot sauce. This is the buffalo sauce. I put it in the oven on 350 for about 15 minutes. When it came out, I added some honey. And this is just me layering it with some mayonnaise and my secret sauce. Some lettuce, cheese, the bacon. You can use whatever kind of bacon you like. I use turkey bacon and voila. McDonald's wraps at home, y'all, period. Try this recipe. Let me know how you like it. It was definitely a 10 out of 10. Mm-hmm.